Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple necklace rig. So in this case I'm going to make something very simple because it's just an adjustment rig. Obviously I think like all clothing rig is just adjustment. It's not something that you have to animate anytime that you make a pose. It's something that you only use when you have when uh, the cloth or the necklace in this case is uh, getting inside the clothes or, or the skin in this case. Okay. So the problem I have in here is that the model is combined like this and then it's combined like this. I think it was combined based on materials and not thinking about the rigging. So what I'm going to do is uh, separate the model in pieces and then I'm just going to actually merge this. You can actually combine pretty much everything. It will be easier for me actually to have everything combined. If it's going to be very simple, I'd rather uh, hit combining here and delete the, the history of it. Oh, okay, no. Okay, now I see why this. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to, be, to keep it in one, so the computer is not going to explode in here. And what I'm going to do is to create a curve, a uh, simple circle here. And if you notice in make nerve circle, you have like the history and you have sections. Sections is how many vertex you're going to have in, your, in this circle. So right now you have eight, which I think is pretty decent for this, but you can put 10 or any uh, number you want of controls. So what I'm going to do is to adjust the curve as much as I can to the uh, shape of the necklace. So let me just put this here, isolate and start moving points. I recommend you to put the center one in the very center of the neck, of the necklace, sorry, in this part. I have no idea how to call that. And just put this in here, and this in here, okay. It doesn't have to be exact, but it, the more closest to the geometry, better is going to be the result. Okay. And maybe this could be a little bit more here. Right, something like that. And maybe let's help a bit the points. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to do a simple wire deformer, selecting the well the wire first, deform wire, click the geometry, enter, click the curve, enter. Okay. And if you select for example in this in this right moment after making the wire this and go like this is going to look disgusting however if you select uh, let me go back if you select the wire and go to drop of distance and put it into 500 or something like a big number and move the points it's moving okay so this is the point where you have to decide if you want to uh, include this geometry here in in the in the wire deformer or not because maybe in this case I'm moving this part and is uh, stretching this part okay so maybe the the good idea will be to add points in here like having instead of eight like ten for him for example you have this one here and you have some this some points in here so it's not going to affect that much this part and it's not going to look ugly however if you do it just for adjustment as I say uh, it's not going to be that bad, okay? So in this case I'm going to keep it like this, but you can uh, decide how many points you're going to put uh, in the wire so it's not it's not moving uh, like like something soft, okay? However, look, uh, the chain itself is, is looking good, okay? It's, if, obviously if you stretch it, it's, I mean, yes, but just don't do it, okay? Just use it for a simple adjustment. Okay. And now, for the vertex, we have to, cre to create controllers. So I'm going to isolate the curve and add clusters. 
cluster one, two, one per vertex in this case. Okay. And per each cluster, I'm going to create a control. So in this case, I'm using comet. I'm being simple. Jane here, uh, sorry, shapes, sphere. So I'm creating spheres here. Okay. And obviously, you can give them a name. I'm just being easy here, so I'm just going to keep it like normal. Frizzle. And connect via connection editor it has to be via connection editor general editors connection editor uh, all the spheres in order to all clusters in order so if you have a lot of here remember to remove show non deform uh, non keyable and non keyable in right display left display and select rotate translate if you want you can put scale but it's like uncommon so just put translate and rotate in here i hope the order is correct <laughs> let me well i will do it and we will see Okay, so by doing this direct connection, every sphere is going to affect, uh-huh, okay, yeah, I think I did it right, right, uh-huh, okay, yeah, awesome, so by doing that, <coughs> I can just uh, group these controls, and put them in the nearest control that is going to affect the, the, that part of the body. So in this case, I think the best one will be this one. Wait, this one is affecting like pretty much all the neck. And this one is affecting like the upper part of the neck. So I think all the controls should be that will be necklace group control group. Right? everything with name all the time remember that and just put it in there with B so there we go and now how do I make the neck the necklace to follow the rest of the body well just do a simple wrap before you can also use like um, a skin cluster if you want like selecting the joint that is affecting that and skin bind skin to the curve and that will work but in this case I'm going to just uh, deform wrap okay so let me see if there is any double transformations well yes <laughs> in the mouth be careful Elias <laughs> but that's not my problem in right now <laughs> and the clusters it's a non non transformation so not touch not touch glue so hide them is working okay and if you move it is working right and if you move the neck is moving with the neck okay oh fix that weight fix the weight painting please <laughs> as well <laughs> but okay so yeah that's how you do a neck rig remember if you want more controlling here and not having this ugly deformation just add more points okay and thanks for watching.